So what is going on guys? Welcome back to some more Stone Block 2 here today on the channel. And we're actually quite far ahead from the last time you watched uh, an episode. I did record an episode. I think we did about a 40 minute recording. I finished the episode, I finished the recording, and then I found out some stuff corrupted. My computer needed its drivers updated, and for some reason my audio wouldn't export, my face cam wouldn't export, and only sections of the gameplay recorded. We actually managed to uh, get ourselves another bunch of sieves going over here. We managed to make some flint mesh, which have allowed us to get uh, some new things, and also higher chance of getting like iron and things like that. We also made the smeltery, which is the biggest thing here. And the smeltery is a giant container. There's like more behind the walls here. And um, we can smelt ores inside of here, which double our capacity. And we can create ingots. And, and things like that. So we made that. We also made uh, some little stencily things here as well, which we can use with the uh, Tinker's Construct or the Tinker's Table, uh, which is right here. And we also made our first source of lava, which is the Crucibles, which you have cobblestone going inside of them. Uh, and then there's the torches underneath. We now have lava underneath to smelt it a little bit quicker. And then we have some hoppers up here, which feed the cobblestone into here to be able to feed the lava. And that is pretty much everything that we did. We managed to complete uh, this challenge. We upgraded our cobblestone generator and uh, a couple of challenges here as well. So that's everything we did in the last episode. In today's episode, I want to try and expand on Tinkers a little bit. So I want to try and make myself these timers. Now, if we go over here to the timer... Uh, no, it's not a timer. It's called a clock. So to make this clock here, we need to get ourselves a redstone torch and four redstone. So ideally, we want five redstone to create one of these redstone clocks, which is going to make things so much easier when it comes to smelting things. I can simply put a clock up here, and then that's automatically going to keep feeding out uh, the uh, the inside of whatever we have in here uh, to create ingots. To get the redstone, we actually need to sieve... Uh, dust. Now, we can do that with iron stiffed mesh or diamond stiffed mesh. So, we're actually going to need to get ourselves a bunch of iron. To make an iron stiff mesh, you need a flint one and six iron. Now, we have the flint ones here. We actually need a couple more. We actually have the meshes here. And I believe we have the flint available as well. We do. So let's go and quickly create those. There we go. So this is going to give us a full stack of flint ones. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take those and probably try and transfer them into iron if we can. But before we do that, we are actually going to sieve some more uh, gravel. We've got 400 gravel here. So let's actually go sieve that quickly. And uh, because this is iron, it should give us a, uh, sorry, because this is flint mesh, it should give us a higher chance of getting iron ore. So with a string one, it gives you a 30% chance. With a flint one, it gives you a 40% chance. So you get a, a slight bigger chance to be able to get uh, the iron things from these drops, which will therefore give us more iron and therefore allow us to uh, smelt it with tinkers, which is going to double our yield. So if we end up getting... Uh, 10 iron ore chunks, that's going to translate to 20 iron ingots. So we're going to get ourselves some iron. We're going to then make ourselves some iron mesh. And then we're going to start sieving some dust to try and get ourselves some redstone. Okay, so we've managed to get ourselves actually a lot of iron here. We actually have more than I initially thought, which is uh, actually quite nice. I'm going to go throw all of this in here. We don't need the gold anymore either. Uh, we do have ourselves six iron pieces here as well. So let's go and throw that in here. So we actually have ourselves 47 chunks of iron right now, which is actually pretty good. We've got 25 ingots as well. So if we go ahead and throw all of this in here, uh, we can fit 40 pieces in here now. That's then going to start smelting. Uh, well, it's not going to start smelting automatically. We're going to need to start uh, smelting this ourselves. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go get myself some more. Do I have any gravel in here? Oh, I don't have any gravel. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go change you not into that. I didn't mean to do that. I actually did that last episode as well. Luckily, it's a fuel source, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, I'm going to go compress this into a compressed cobblestone. We could actually then use this compressed hammer to be able to break down uh, compressed cobblestone, which is even better as it's going to allow us to do it quicker. What's the durability of this? Three. Brilliant. 
Fantastic. Right. Well, we need to make ourselves another one of those if we can. We actually have enough iron on us at the moment. So let us go and throw those down. There we go. And then if I go on to hammer and go on to the compressed hammer, we have another one. Lovely. Right. Let's go break you into gravel. I totally forgot. You guys have probably no idea what we're trying to do right now. Basically, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get myself some sand because I need to get myself some sand. I need to get myself some gravel and I need to get myself some dust to create a thing called grout. This grout is used once you smelt it to make seared bricks. And these are seared bricks. Uh, sorry, is it? It's not seared bricks. It is... What does it make? Is it seared ingots? No, it just makes seared brick. Okay, so it makes seared brick, and then that can be converted into seared bricks. But I want seven seared brick itself, because I need that to make myself this second casting table, which is going to allow me to do the iron a little bit better. Right, so we're going to sell some clay. If we go into grout here, we can make ourselves 48, which should be easily enough for what we need. Boom, there we go. Right, let's go and... Uh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. We make a casting basin instead. We should have the iron smelted here now, which is eight blocks and eight ingots. Let's put the rest of the iron in there. I am going to go ahead and break you. There we go. I uh, will place this down. And then that's going to then start making a full iron block. So this one's going to create ingots, as you can see, like that. This is going to make full iron blocks, which is going to make it a little bit easier to be able to do what we need to do. Actually, I might make another one of these. So we're gonna go pick you up. And we're gonna go throw you down. And boom, there we go. Right, so then we can get a lot more ingots a lot quicker. So in the meantime, we're gonna keep you here. Uh, we don't need the seer bricks now, so we can go throw these in the chest. Boom, we don't need the cobblestone. We don't need the gravel. We should have enough iron now to be able to do some iron meshes. Let's go make this a little bit bigger because I want to make a decent space for the sieves because I'm going to have all four of them here because some things you can only get from like string or flint or something like that. So ideally, I want to make myself all four sets. That's the plan anyway. There we go. Right. So this is going to be where all the sieves are going to be. We're going to have uh, iron and diamond in those sections. How much ingots do we actually have in here now? We've still got five blocks, which is quite nice. In the meantime, we need to make ourselves... How many How many sieves am I going to need to make? It's. I need 50 slabs in total is what I need. So 6, 12, 18, 20, 26, 32, 38, 44. Bang. Bang on 50. Nice. 50 sieves. That's, that's quite a lot of sieves. <laughs> right. Let's go place all of these down. And then we know exactly where we stand on what meshes we need. I need to create all of the string ones again. So that's something we're going to need to do in the future. Ideally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade. I upgraded all the string ones to all of the flint ones. And then I've upgraded all of the flint ones. I will upgrade those. I'll take these out up and upgrade them to the iron ones. And then I'll take the iron ones and upgrade them to the diamond ones. And then we'll worry about making the... I ran out of iron. Did I run out of iron? No, I didn't run out of iron. That's weird. I was like, wait a minute. Why did you stop? You uh, you definitely have enough. So we can create all of these into iron now, I believe. And boom. There we go. 10 iron mesh. Which is perfect. So what do we need for redstone? Is it again? Because we want to try and do the, the clocks. What do we need for redstone? I think it was the... So it's dust. It has to be dust. It's got to be dust with the iron mesh. It gives us a 15% chance. Let us go and start doing the wonderful compressing. Which is what we always love to see. So we have all of the dust we need now. We have a piece of gravel left over here. We're not going to bother with you. We've got 40 ingots, which is going to allow us to do six more mesh. That's going to make things a little bit quicker, a little quicker process. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Right. Let's go and break this dust down and see what we get. Give us some redstone. Give us some redstone. I saw redstone. We have a piece of redstone. If we can get five pieces of redstone, then we'll have at least one clock. And we have six redstone. And I've just made an achievement called shocking. I don't know what I did to make that achievement happen. 
but it happened. Also, I think we're getting some gold from this as well. Are we getting gold from this? We are getting gold from this. Right, we got some uh, quartz there as well. Oh, the charge service quartz. That's even better. We got bone meal, gold, sky stone dust. We got 47 redstone. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do two clocks. Boom and boom. And then we're actually going to do two levers as well. And I guarantee you guys I'm going to get the crafting recipe wrong. <gasps> I actually didn't get the crafting recipe wrong. What is this? I always get them wrong. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should go into the storage now. Maybe we should do the storage now. Do I have the iron? I don't have the iron. That's a bit that we need. So I'm just trying to work out what we need to do here. Ideally, I might change these and move them over to the side. I'll have the clock ones at the side. All right, we're going to have to sift some gravel. We're going to have to get some more iron. We have 39 gravel. Give me the iron that I require. All right, did you give me the iron I require? You gave me the iron I require. All right, let's go and... Create. Whoa, is that a gun? That's an iron CAD assembly. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like a gun. Right, we'll do another iron hammer. And we're going to expand. I might start doing a bit of the storage here because it's going to work out in our favor. If we can get the storage going now, it's going to work out in our favor. Uh, I'm just going to expand a little bit. And I made a couple of those drawers before, didn't I? So I kind of need to start working towards a draw controller or something. If we go over to storage. Where are you? There we go. We need to do a compacting draw. How do we do that? Compacting draw, which re requires stone, iron, piston. Well, we have the redstone now, so that kind of works. We can do that. What does this actually do? Compacting draw holds the item inside as well as whatever it compresses into whatever it compresses into. I don't even think we need the compacting draw. I think it's just the draw controller that we need. We need to do that for the challenge, obviously, but I don't think we're going to be using it. So to do pistons, we need to get ourselves redstone. And we need cobblestone as well, I believe. Oh, I need the iron as well. So let's go and create two of those. And then I need a half draw. Does it have to be a half draw? Or can it be one of those? Oh, there we go. Right, compacting draw done. And then the draw controller. Draw controller is... Oh, we need a diamond. No, why do we need a diamond? How do we get a diamond again? To get a diamond, we need to save gravel with iron mesh i mean it's possible we could we could try and do that quickly i have over a stack of gravel if we don't get a diamond we don't get a diamond please give me a diamond i think we have a one percent chance of dropping a diamond so whether we're gonna get one or not we're gonna have to wait and see it's not quite a hundred pieces of gravel <gasps> was that a diamond i may have just seen a diamond no i think it was that that i saw instead shoot we didn't get a diamond no we've got so much stuff here that i have no idea what it does all right what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna keep going until we get a diamond so bear with me and i will be right back ah oh, oh we have a diamond we have a diamond eventually we have a diamond i just i did like almost a full stack of compressed cobblestone which is nine stacks turn it into gravel and we're saving it. And we finally have a diamond over there that I can see. Which is finally nice to, to see. Uh, let's finish off this gravel quickly. And then we'll go put everything we got here into the chest. And hopefully we can actually get more than one diamond. Because if we could start getting a couple more diamonds that would be quite nice. I would like to start seeing more diamonds on the floor. Do we have any more diamonds around us? We do not. Come on diamonds. There is so much stuff everywhere. More diamonds. Emeralds are quite nice as well because we can upgrade the cobblestone generator. And right now, I can't even think of anything else that we use emeralds for. So that's not too bad if we can get quite a few emeralds. It looks like there's a couple on the floor. Maybe four or five emeralds on the floor that I can see. There's two there. There's another one here. One more there, it looks like. So that'd be quite nice. Oh, is that <gasps> we got another diamond. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Let's go throw all of this stuff in here. That we don't really care about right now. I wonder if we can pick everything else up. Diamonds! Can we get everything? Yeah, we can pick everything up. Alright, we have two diamonds and we have five emeralds. Nice! What else do we need? I actually forgot to collect the reward for this as well, which is going to give us an item magnet. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Pulls and items and XP every 100 ticks. Right, what do we need then? For the draw controller... Oh, we need nether quartz! How do I get nether quartz? I need to do soul sand. How do I get soul sand? Okay, so I think I may have found the easiest way to get nether quartz. It's probably not, but I have found a way which I can do it. Basically, I need to get soul sand and I need to sieve it. If I can sieve soul sand in a flint or diamond mesh, that's going to give me uh, a 33% chance of getting nether quartz, which isn't actually a bad chance. Now, to be able to get soul sand, I've worked out I need to make this atomic reconstructor, 
where you can just throw sand in front of it. That'll turn it into a soul sand. And the atomic reconstructor actually isn't too bad to make. You need four redstone, four iron, and an iron casing, which requires four iron, four sticks, and a black quartz. I have a black quartz. All you need to do is uh, smelt this crushed black quartz to get a black quartz itself. We have some iron ingots here. So if I can go and make... Uh, this iron casing which I can I now need to get myself four more iron ingots and luckily we have a block over here Which is already done. So if we go ahead and then create this I believe if we place this down uh, I'm just gonna place it down here now. This needs power if I am getting this right I can do a lava gen uh, No, 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 I think it's called a magmatic generator. These are the ones that I typically go for so you want to do a magmatic generator where we need a... Okay, we need more iron and redstone. Okay, we've got 31 redstone. I want to make a magmatic generator. Basically, you can use lava to create power. So I'm going to need to get myself five gold. Uh, we have that. We can do that. That is fine. So let's go start smelting this gold down inside of here. We're also going to need some more iron as well, so I'm going to need to save some more gravel, unless when I did all of that, I actually probably got a bunch of iron in here. I did. Okay. So we can go and start smelting that too. What else do we need for the magmatic generator? We need a furnace thing, so we can create a furnace. So we need a chest. Jeez, we've got a lot of steps that we need to do here. And this is probably one of the easiest ways right now. It's going to get easier later on. So if we create a chest, that's going to then allow us to make... Uh, oh, four of those. That's quite nice. Right, then we need a furnace and more iron. Once we have that, we can be good to go in that regard. Right, we've got the gold that we need. We have the furnace. We now have some iron coming along. Uh, was it five iron I needed? I'm probably going to need more iron than this. Back over this way we go. I think that's going to allow us to at least make some section of it. So what do I need then? I need to make you... There we go, and then I need a bucket of lava, which I have somewhere, don't I? Oh no, I've just got the buckets on me, just not the lava. Right, so if we go and create a magmatic generator, there we go. We can now use this. Now, I don't know if we can just simply... Can I just simply put lava in, in this like that, and then that's going to power it? It is! Perfect! Right! Whoa! Okay, when I throw an item on there, that should activate it. Do we have any sand, by the way? Do we have any sand? We do have sand. Perfect. Right, if I throw those on here. Come on, come on, please work. Do what you need to do. I don't know how much power this is going to need. I'm just going to fill this up with lava and I'm just going to see what we can do. Can I just throw one down and it's going to create one soul sand? Maybe I'll just throw all of it down and just see what happens. Hey, there we go. We got ourselves two pieces of soul sand. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it has to be flint. Sorry, I got confused for a second. I was like, wait a minute, what? No, we didn't get any. No. All right, we got another piece. We got another piece. Come on. Come on. Give us give us what we need. Mm. We need more power. We need more power. I don't know if I should start saving these up. Because just doing one at a time, there's a 33% chance. <gasps> yes. Oh, no, but I need three. No, I need three of them. Oh, no, I need two. Okay, I need two of them. But let's go start making what we can with this. So we know exactly what we need. We need three stone. We have the stone on us. Uh, no, no, five stone. We have the, the draw as well. We just need... Yeah, we just need the redstone torches. One, two, three. Get some more sticks. And then... One, one... Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. There's one done. And then one, two, three. And then we just need one more nether quartz. That's literally all we need right now. So if we take that like that, flick the lever... Turn it off again. We have four nether... We have four. Four soul sand. Give me another quartz. Yes! Oh, we got two that time. What was the other thing we got as well? But we have another nether quartz, which means we have what we need to do this. Yes! And then we can do this. Yes! There we go! Woohoo! We have the draw controller, which can now allow us to go back to the smeltery that I was planning on doing quite a while ago now. So if we place this down... <laughs> I believe now, if we place these drawers down like this, and then we can feed what we need into this draw controller, we're then going to be able to do some fancy things. So I will try and show you 
what I mean. In the meantime, let me get this iron smelting. Because the more iron, the better. Let's go make, create a couple of chests. Because I want at least two hoppers. And you will see why in a moment. So if I put you down over here like that. I'm going to then place another hopper down here. Like this and like that. I'm then going to need to break you. And I'm going to need to break you. Sorry, but that's what I'm going to need to do. And you can see, look, the items fell in the hopper. They came to this drawer controller and then went into this drawer. Basically, this is going to organize things into the correct drawer. So I'm going to break all of this because we don't want any of this here right now. All of this could just get broken. And as long as I don't break this, I won't actually lose my contents of my smelty stuff. We're then going to need to break uh, these because we're actually going to want to put the casting tables here like so. We're then going to put the ingots in here, like this. And then the drains are going to go like this. There we go. And then if we put the faucets down, boom. So basically, when the iron ingots smelt like this, they're going to go straight into the hoppers, whoop, and then straight into this storage drawer right here. Which means that once I get the clocks going, which I'm actually going to just pop down now, and that means that once I place these down like that, that's just going to constantly keep going, which is great. So that's going to constantly keep going. Once it's finished the iron ingots, it's then going to go onto the gold ingots, and then the gold ingots will go into a separate one. And this is all we need to do now for pretty much our smelting. You can kind of like make it more efficient by trying to feed iron into the smeltery controller, but as long as you have lava and you have ore in there, you are pretty good to go. But look, look. 31 ingots, 32 ingots, and we are still going. So I'm going to go create some more of those those uh, drawers right there. I'm going to do the 4x4, four four, so we need 4 chests and 5 pieces of wood. Boom. Boop. 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 Whoops. What are you doing there? All right, there we go. So we haven't made any tools just yet, but we have uh, made an efficient smeltery, which has got ourselves 76 ingots of iron. It's done 2 ingots of gold. Make that 4 ingots of gold. And things are going to keep going. Uh, I'm kind of worried about some of these other stuff here of what they're going to do. Let's go actually claim this reward, by the way. Eight chunks cubes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We ain't going to open those just yet, that's for sure. Kind of like a lucky block. Also, what's great is with the smeltery controller here, if there is something that I have on me, for example, if I take a piece of gold out here and I put those on here, if there is something in these drawers, which is something that I have on me, all I need to do is double right click this. And then it sends everything from my inventory in there. So I could take a couple of these, a couple of those, a couple of those. They're all in my inventory all over the place. I just double click that. Boom, they're gone. And they're where they need to be, which is great. I love it. So there we go. I could actually uh, get another one of these basins here. I could probably put another one here if I wanted to with a timer to make that go even quicker. However, we're doing a good job. Look at that. We've got two blocks, six ingots, and it's doing two ingots at a time. So we're getting through it really, really quickly. Uh, we are going to leave the episode there, though. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. Sorry that you missed some of the whole smeltery production. I don't know what happened on my computer. Hopefully, this doesn't corrupt. But, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, you guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.